Hi, welcome back to the design. And Robert, talk us through this Tortuga-nomina. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Tortuga-nomina. Uh, okay. They are a Chilean post-rock band, uh, kind of uh, Latin influences, rock influences, jazz influences. Okay. Go. Uh, go. Okay. Uh, you you're too quick there. Okay. Let's go.
jugar al invisible Esconderse no es una solución La tristeza y la rabia no son una opción Es una condición enfrenta la vida Muchas gracias. Hasta la próxima. Okay. Uh, I think I have to mention they are an instrumental band, but this comes from an EP where they collaborated with a spoken word artist, poet, uh, and that's the guy. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. Uh, um, okay. So this is. Uh, I really. It's hard to talk about this. I think. Uh, no, no, not because. Uh, it's very different from what I used to listen to, um, but and, and in the beginning I was kind of skeptic, uh, you know, for, for for the sound, and I thought, thought, okay, the instrument for it, it's they, they sound good, um, the guitars sound good, but the, but the messing was not really what my style, but but the, it the, then then it started growing on me, <laughs> and in the end I really really enjoyed the sound they put together. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so it was kind of like, okay, this is um, okay. I'm a little bit skeptical over it, but uh, and and in the end, but okay, I really, uh, really dig this. So, so it was. Um, <laughs> it's, it's hard to talk about uh, more than that. I think. Uh, Andreas, please help me out. Yeah, I really like this. Uh, uh, this reminds me of some bands from the mid '90s, like those. Lots of band doing this kind of thing. Uh, sometimes with vocals, sometimes not. But the, with this, what made it special was that the acoustic guitar played such a big role. I really liked that. And I, I really liked the spoken word guy. Hmm. That, that was cool. He was kind of in his own space. Just, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but, yeah, but that, that can be so cool with, with spoken words overall that, that when you when you add music to it it can really get get to you in a different way and uh, i have no idea what he spoke about but no, <laughs> but it felt strong meaning, meaning, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's the vibe it's the, yeah, yeah the, it felt the, strong and it felt very awesome. emotional emotion. also a great band great musicians very cool yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really fascinated that they put all this especially, stuff together. Especially, uh, especially that they had uh, that the acoustic guitar yeah. played such a big role. That was kind of unusual, but cool, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was uh, especially in the end when they had a, uh, it had one part that they almost get all out with, uh, except the acoustic guitar that had some really really nice. Uh, yeah, it was really good. Um, yeah, Robert. So, so please talk about this about how do you? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how much I can talk about them. Uh, I found them through Apple Music's algorithm. Yeah, okay. uh, Apple thought that I uh, might like that, and I did. <laughs> so I listened through them a bit the last week, uh, both their instrumental stuff and the EP with this guy, yeah. and. Uh, what I like about the EP is that his spoken words uh, blend in better because they do some additional uh, post-processing mixing on him. So uh, it has uh, some more reverb and stuff like that to make it blend a bit more with the band mm -hmm. than uh, maybe uh, it sounded live. Uh, but. Uh, I, I really enjoy this. Uh, the music is, uh, to me, very relaxing, and uh, the chaotic uh, spoken word poetry somehow fits in, and the blend between all the chaos and all the <laughs> structure stuff uh, really works for me. Yeah. So I don't know that much about them. Uh, they have uh, basically a band camp, a social media page, and they have one interview in English. So I don't know much <laughs> about them, uh, but they are Chilean and uh, uh, they have not toured 
that much because it costs money to tour. And uh, uh, I would guess that this is not the easiest music to um, share to a larger audience, perhaps. Yeah, and I, you're right. I, I think it's this kind of club they play on here is the perfect setting. So, so mm. it's hard to do a world tour with that, I think. <laughs> uh, but but uh, but I really would like to see this live because the, I think, uh, well, the, even if you said, I think this sounded great uh, live. And, uh, and as you said, it's hard when there are so many different kind of you know vibes in it it's together yeah, this good uh but uh but yeah it's it's expensive to call um yeah yeah okay that was the end signal uh time's out uh okay see you later people bye bye bye